In an industry filled with dreams, the actress turned hers into reality. Born on July 14, 1930, in Knoxville, Tennessee, she started her journey in the world of entertainment at a young age. She first gained recognition as a singer and later transitioned into acting, where she truly shone. Throughout her career, the actress graced both the small and big screens, leaving an indelible mark in the industry. She starred in numerous films, including Kate Fear and The Caretakers, as well as television shows such as The Polly Bergen Show and Playhouse 90. In 1958, she won an Emmy Award for her outstanding performance in The Helen Morgan Story. The actress was not just a talented performer, but also a successful entrepreneur. She launched her own cosmetics line in the 1960s, which became a huge success. She was a trailblazer for women in business, proving that they could excel in both the entertainment and corporate worlds. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, the actress remained resilient and continued to inspire others. She published her memoir, Polly, in 1982, sharing her life experiences and the lessons she learned along the way. In her later years, the actress continued to act appearing in shows like Desperate Housewives and Criminal Minds. She also became a sought-after guest on talk shows where she shared her insights and wisdom. Throughout her life, the actress remained a true inspiration to many. Her talent, determination, and entrepreneurial spirit left a lasting impact on the industry and the world. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, reminding us of the power of dreams and the importance of perseverance. Actress Polly Bergen was a talented and versatile performer known for her work in both film and television. She won an Emmy for her role in the show Hollywood Wives and was also a singer and entrepreneur. You might recognize her from the film Cape Fear or from her guest appearances on popular shows like The Love Boat and Murder, she wrote. Do you have a personal story of how actress Polly Bergen has inspired or impacted your life? Or perhaps you have a cherished memory related to this classic star. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Maybe you saw her in one of her many acting roles, or perhaps you were a fan of her music. The first time many people recognized actress Polly Bergen was on the game show I've Got a Secret, where she was a regular panelist. Throughout her long and successful career, actress Polly Bergen has provided us with many funny, shocking, and sad moments. Keep watching this video to learn more about this classic star and the many memorable moments from her life and career. Raised in the small town of Knoxville, Tennessee, the actress was born to humble beginnings. Her father, William, was a grocery store owner, while her mother, Lucy, stayed at home to take care of Polly and her two siblings. Despite their modest lifestyle, Polly's parents always encouraged her creative pursuits. From a young age, the actress showed a keen interest in the world of entertainment. She would often put on shows for her family and neighbors, singing and dancing to the latest tunes. Her grandmother, a former vaudeville performer, recognized Polly's talent and began teaching her singing and dancing lessons. When the actress was just 14 years old, she won a talent contest that took her to New York City. It was there that she met a casting director who was impressed by her talent and offered her a role in a Broadway show. From that moment on, the actress knew that she wanted to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, the actress has had many mentors and influences. One of her earliest influences was actress and singer Ethel Merman, who she met while performing in a Broadway show. Merman became a mentor to the actress, teaching her about the business and helping her to develop her singing and acting skills. Another significant influence on the actress's career was director and producer Otto Preminger. She worked with him on several films, including The Cardinal and Advise and Consent. Preminger pushed the actress to take on more challenging roles and to explore new aspects of her craft. The actress's talent and dedication to her craft have earned her numerous accolades throughout her career. She has won several Emmy Awards, as well as a Golden Globe and a Tony Award. Despite her success, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft, always striving to improve and take on new challenges. Polly Bergen was an actress who left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born on July 14, 1930, in Knoxville, Tennessee, she began her career in the early 1950s and quickly became known for her versatile acting skills. Bergen's first major role was in the 1953 film Knock on Wood, where she starred alongside Danny Kaye. She went on to appear in numerous films throughout the 1950s and 1960s, including Cape Fear and The Caretakers. Her performances were always nuanced and captivating, making her a favorite among audiences and critics alike. In addition to her work in film, Bergen was also a successful television actress. 
She starred in her own variety show, The Polly Bergen Show, in the late 1950s, and later appeared in popular shows such as The Love Boat and Murder, she wrote. Her ability to shine in any role made her a beloved figure in the industry. Bergen was not just an actress, but also a talented singer and author. She released several albums throughout her career and wrote several books, including Polly's Principles How to Survive Life's Ups and Downs. Her creativity and passion for storytelling were evident in everything she did. Despite facing personal challenges, including a battle with breast cancer, Bergen remained a resilient and inspiring figure. She continued to work in the industry until her passing on September 20, 2014, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. In short, Polly Bergen was a multi-talented actress, singer, and author who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her ability to captivate audiences with her nuanced performances and her resilience in the face of challenges make her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she had always been drawn to the enchanting world of entertainment. At the tender age of five, she won a talent contest, which ignited a spark within her to pursue a career in the spotlight. However, it was her experience on the radio show Campana Kids that truly solidified her passion. During a recording session, the actress found herself mesmerized by the soundproof booth and the microphone that transformed her voice into a powerful instrument. The thrill of bringing stories to life and connecting with audiences through her performances became her driving force. As she grew older, the actress honed her craft in various venues, from local theaters to television shows. Each experience fueled her desire to delve deeper into the art of acting, constantly pushing herself to explore new characters and stories. One pivotal moment came when she landed a role in a Broadway production. The energy of the live audience and the intensity of the stage lights illuminated her path, confirming her calling as an actress. From that day forward, she dedicated herself to perfecting her craft, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The actress, known for her urban sophistication, passed away at 84 years old in her home in Southbury, Connecticut. Her death was due to natural causes, but she had a history of emphysema and circulatory problems from 50 years of smoking. She once said, I had a choice of quitting smoking or singing another chorus of night and day, and I chose to continue smoking and quit singing. However, she continued to work as a character actor well into her older years. In March 2002, the actress was playing Fraulein Schneider in the Broadway revival of Cabaret at Studio 54 in New York City. She also appeared as the mistress of Tony Soprano's father on The Sopranos, and as the mother of Felicity Huffman's character on Desperate Housewives. Huffman described her as a great broad, a wonderful actress, and a lovely woman. I will miss her fire, her courage, and her irreverence. The actress was born in Tennessee and grew up in Ohio, Indiana, and other places as her father traveled for low-paying construction jobs. Despite this, she radiated an air of sophistication. She is survived by her daughter P.K. Fields and son Peter Fields, the children she adopted with her second husband, her stepdaughter Kathy Fields Lander, and three grandchildren. The actress, Polly Bergen, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1930, she grew up during the Great Depression which brought financial struggles for her family. Despite these hardships, she discovered her passion for performing and was determined to make a name for herself in the entertainment industry. In the beginning, the actress encountered industry skepticism. Many people doubted her abilities and questioned her potential for success. However, she remained resilient and refused to let others' opinions discourage her. Instead, she used these doubts as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. One of the creative solutions she found to overcome these obstacles was to expand her talents beyond acting. She became a successful singer, author, and entrepreneur, which allowed her to establish a strong presence in various areas of the entertainment industry. Additionally, the actress was known for her ability to adapt to different roles and genres. She appeared in films, television shows, and on Broadway, showcasing her versatility and range as a performer. This diversity in her career helped her to overcome industry skepticism and solidify her place as a respected and admired actress. Despite the many challenges she faced, the actress remained committed to her craft and never gave up on her dreams. Her resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring performers and a reminder that success is possible, even in the face of adversity. In 1957, the actress took home an Emmy Award for her portrayal of torch singer Helen Morgan in a TV production. Following this victory, she recorded an album showcasing Morgan's popular songs, further highlighting her musical talents. 
The actress is also connected to the entertainment industry through family ties. She is the aunt of Wendy Rich, who has made her own mark in the industry as a television producer. Apart from her work in film and television, the actress has also ventured into the business world. Over the past four decades, she has successfully launched and managed Polly Bergen Cosmetics, Polly Bergen Jewelry, and Polly Bergen Shoes. Her entrepreneurial spirit extends beyond her own brands, as she has also been an active part owner and spokesperson for Oil of the Turtle Cosmetics. These endeavors demonstrate her versatility and business acumen beyond the world of entertainment. In 1957, the actress stunned audiences with her chilling performance in the Helen Morgan story. Her portrayal of the singer, known for her struggles with alcoholism, earned her a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. The film is still remembered for the actress's powerful depiction of a complex character. A few years later, in 1963, the actress showcased her versatility in the political drama Kisses for My President. She played the first female president of the United States, a role that was both groundbreaking and challenging. The film received mixed reviews, but the actress's performance was widely praised. In the late 1960s, the actress took a break from acting to focus on her successful cosmetics company. However, she returned to the screen in the 1970s with a series of memorable roles. One of her most notable performances was in the 1977 miniseries Washington Behind Closed Doors. The actress played the ruthless and cunning first lady, a role that earned her critical acclaim and a primetime Emmy nomination. In the 1980s, the actress continued to challenge herself with diverse roles. She starred in the horror film The Hindenburg and the drama The Winds of War. Her performance in the latter earned her a second primetime Emmy nomination. Throughout her career, the actress has been praised for her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. Her peers and critics have often noted her intelligence, grace, and strength, both on and off the screen. The actress's contributions to the world of film and television have left a lasting impact, and her work continues to resonate with audiences today. The actress Polly Bergen, born in 1930, faced many struggles in her life. She started her career in show business at a young age, and quickly became a successful singer and actress. However, she also battled mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. In her memoir, Polly Bergen, My Life in Mink, she wrote openly about her struggles with mental health, stating, I was depressed, and I was anxious, and I was scared. She sought help and underwent psychiatric treatment, which she found to be beneficial. Bergen's career was not without its challenges either. She faced discrimination in the industry due to her gender and age, in her later years, she became an advocate for women's rights and spoke out against ageism in Hollywood. Despite these struggles, Bergen remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry for over six decades. She appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions, earning critical acclaim for her work. In addition to her acting career, Bergen was also a successful businesswoman. She launched her own cosmetics line and became a spokesperson for various products. Bergen's life and career serve as a reminder that success is not without its struggles. Her honesty about her mental health battles and advocacy for women's rights have inspired many. Her legacy continues to resonate in the entertainment industry and beyond. The actress, known for her work in film, television, and theater, has always approached her art with a unique blend of dedication and intuition. She once stated, I've always believed that you should do everything with all your heart, and that includes acting. This commitment to giving her all is evident in every performance. Her process begins with thorough research and preparation. She delves into the script, studying her character's motivations, backstory, and dialogue. She often conducts interviews with experts or people who have experienced similar situations to her character. This meticulous research allows her to fully understand and empathize with her character, creating a deeply authentic performance. However, the actress doesn't rely solely on research. She also trusts her instincts and improvisational skills. She once said, I believe in trusting your gut. If something feels right, it usually is. This balance between preparation and intuition gives her performances a natural, spontaneous feel. The actress's personal experiences and worldview often influence her work. She has been open about how her own struggles and triumphs have informed her characters. For instance, she has drawn on her experiences as a mother and businesswoman to portray strong, independent women on screen. Her work also reflects her commitment to social issues. She has used her platform to raise awareness about women's rights, mental health, and other important causes. 
Her performances often contain subtle messages about these issues, adding depth and relevance to her work. In conclusion, the actress's unique approach to acting combines thorough research, intuition, and personal experience. This results in authentic, compelling performances that resonate with audiences. Her commitment to social issues also adds an important layer of meaning to her work. In the film Move Over, Darling, the actress played the role of Bianca Steele Arden. Initially, she had reservations about being cast as the second banana to Doris Day, who was the most popular actress at the time. However, the actress's skepticism turned into admiration as she got to know Day, describing her as charming, funny, and generous. Interestingly, the movie is a remake of My Favorite Wife, a fact that Ellen shares with Bianca during a massage scene. The actress also made history by playing the first woman president in the movie Kisses for My President. Coincidentally, she also portrayed the mother of the first woman president in the TV show Commander-in-Chief. Overall, the actress had a successful career in both film and television, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. The actress, known for her work in film, television, and theater, began her career in the 1950s. She quickly made a name for herself with her versatile performances and striking beauty. Bergen's impact on the industry was significant, as she was one of the first women to break away from traditional leading lady roles and take on more complex and challenging characters. In the world of film, Bergen gave memorable performances in movies such as Cape Fear and The Caretakers. Her work in these films showcased her ability to portray nuanced and powerful characters, paving the way for future actresses to do the same. Bergen's influence can be seen in the way that modern actresses are able to take on a wider range of roles and portray complex and dynamic characters. On television, Bergen starred in her own show, The Polly Bergen Show, becoming one of the first women to host a television variety show. She also had a successful career as a guest star on various other shows, including The Sopranos and Desperate Housewives. Bergen's ability to adapt to different mediums and genres further solidified her status as a versatile and influential actress. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Bergen was also a successful businesswoman and singer. She released several albums and even had her own line of cosmetics. Bergen's success in multiple fields is a testament to her talent and determination and she continues to be an inspiration to aspiring actresses and entrepreneurs alike. According to industry experts and those she's inspired, Bergen's contribution to the industry is immeasurable. Her ability to take on complex and dynamic roles, her success as a businesswoman, and her influence on television variety shows have all left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Bergen's legacy continues to resonate today as modern actresses and entertainers continue to build upon the foundation she laid. In conclusion, the actress Polly Bergen's impact and influence on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Her versatile performances, successful business ventures, and influential television show have all left a lasting mark on the industry. Bergen's ability to adapt and excel in multiple fields continues to inspire and influence entertainers today. After facing financial difficulties during the 1987 crisis, the actress was forced to sell her Park Avenue apartment and seek work in television movies. She spent a few years in Montana, disillusioned with the competitive nature of the industry. Upon her return to acting, she found success in singing and was met with enthusiasm at a Miami Beach performance of Company in 1999. At the age of 70, she was nominated for a Tony Award for her role in Follies, where she sang the hit song, I'm Still Here, a testament to her enduring career. The day after her lead role in the TV production of the Helen Morgan story, a newspaper headline referred to her as the Pepsi Girl Takes Up Hard Liquor, a nod to her early career as a spokesperson for the soda brand. In the film Cape Fear, the actress played the role of Peggy Bowden. During a scene with Robert Mitchum, he accidentally cut his hand on a cabinet, resulting in blood on both their bodies. Despite the injury, they continued filming, caught up in the intensity of the scene. The production team had to physically stop them. The actress Polly Bergen, Known for her work in film, television, and theater, led a life that extended beyond the spotlight. She was a devoted wife and mother, often speaking about the joy her family brought her. In her personal time, she had a passion for art and design, even launching her own line of wigs and beauty products. Bergen's personal values often informed her work as an actress. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and equality, using her platform to speak out on issues such as pay equity and reproductive rights. She also used her talents to support various charitable causes. One of Bergen's most notable philanthropic efforts was her work with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, 
after her daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Bergen became a passionate advocate for diabetes research and education. She served on the JDRF's board of directors and was actively involved in fundraising efforts for many years. In addition to her work with JDRF, Bergen was also involved in other charitable organizations, including the American Cancer Society and the Alzheimer's Association. She was a dedicated supporter of the arts, serving on the board of directors for the American Place Theater and the Actors Fund of America. Bergen's personal interests and values were a driving force behind her philanthropic efforts and her advocacy for important social issues. Her legacy as an actress and a philanthropist continues to inspire and make a difference in the lives of many. After an impressive career spanning decades, the actress has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With her captivating performances, she drew viewers into the world of each character she played, making us feel as if we were right there with them. Throughout her career, the actress showcased her versatility and range, taking on a variety of roles in both film and television. From her early work in the 1950s to her later performances, she consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. One of the actress's most iconic roles was in the film Cape Fear, where she played a pivotal role that resonated with audiences. Her portrayal of a strong and determined woman was a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. In addition to her work in film, the actress also made a name for herself on television. She starred in several popular shows and even had her own variety show in the 1960s. Her ability to captivate audiences and hold her own against some of the biggest stars of the time was truly remarkable. As we reflect on the actress's career, it's clear that her impact on the entertainment industry will be felt for years to come. Her work continues to inspire and entertain audiences, and her legacy is a testament to her talent and dedication. So, what do you think about the actress's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family. Let's keep the conversation going and the memories